I'll tell you how to not get scammed on eBay. Coming up. Hello, I'm Greg Recke at Recke Mods, and welcome to this special episode where I will be trying to save you from getting scammed on eBay uh, when you're trying to buy a iBook G3 clamshell. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit um, about all the problems that are going on right now. As of November 2021, this is as of November 2021, um, there's a trend on eBay that needs to stop. Um, two trends actually and um, let's talk about that briefly then we'll explain what the whole point of this video is first off about one-third of all clamshells for sale on eBay right now are prototypes and about the other half of that half the eBay listings are special edition customs and then the other uh, bit is actual legit clamshells on the market yeah, this isn't good. So let's first start with pricing for this. Now I've been doing a consensus, trying to figure out um, everyone and what their idea is on value on these systems. And I have figured out that it's basically anywhere between $50 and $300 is what you should be paying. Now there's some outer outlying ones, like if they're in box and all this stuff, you might be looking up to a few hundred dollars past 300. Um, I wouldn't really go past it unless it's like brand new in box, has all the accessories and stuff. But let's talk about why the, the range is so broad. Uh, $50, you're looking at like a blueberry clamshell with the logo missing and the optical drive day bay missing or the, the, the cover um, and just or any any clamshell in that shape um, any model really um, you, you're looking at about fifty dollars if it's running <laughs> if it's not it's, it's a parts model it's probably going to be worth even less than that but um, that that's the reason why the price range is so broad because uh, it all depends on features and condition and honestly, features like um, a Firewire versus a first generation model, a first versus second generation model, doesn't really matter unless it's like a special model like the Key Lime, um, which we'll talk about briefly. But you're not going to uh, see a big difference. And the, the perfect price range where you're getting a pretty good deal is probably around $125 to $200. And if you're going to go up to $300, you're talking about like an iBook clamshell key lime, which um, was a Apple Store online, Apple Store exclusive, with the 466 megahertz processor and the DVD drive in it. That's the upper range there. You might even be paying a little more than 300 for one of those. Um, but other than that, most models are all about the same in value between 125 and $300 um, or 125 to $200, I mean. So that's about the meaty good price range there. Uh, 125 to 200 is where you want to be for a complete working system that's in good shape. Now, iBooks back in the day were a good entry level collector's thing. Oh, don't want to show you that side yet. They were a good entry level collector's thing. Um, and they're getting rare, they're getting hard to find. The price has gone up some. Um, so they're not as entry level as they used to be, um, but you can still get good deals on them. But there's a trend going on right now, which is driving me insane. And that is a third of iBooks right now on eBay as of November 2021 are prototypes. 
Here's a spoiler alert. They're not prototypes. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that these sellers know that they're not prototypes. They may not know they're not prototypes. I'm not saying they're trying to scam you. I'm not trying to attack any of these sellers except for one, uh, which you'll figure that one out in a second because he also sells them. Um, but no, I'm not trying to attack anyone directly. And please do not attack these sellers. If anything, share this video with them so they understand that these are not prototypes. And what am I talking about? Well, these one third of these systems, they're all second generation firewire models. Um, and they're all prototypes, all of them. All of this one third of these listings are prototypes. They're not, they're PVT boards. And what a PVT is, is usually a prototype. I'll give you that, but these aren't. And um, there, there's different versions of prototypes. This is like the, the second in the prototype range usually, but it's also still an early model. This is an EVT. I think there's one before EVT, the really experimental one, but this is super experimental. This is usually really early. This is a prototype. And what makes an EVT different from a PVT is you're mixing and matching parts, basically. This is a second generation prototype logic board, okay? It's got the second generation CPU in it, and uh, it's got a firewire port in it, which is kind of a beta firewire port. It sort of works. It works, it just it doesn't power things right. So things freeze, you have to make sure they're self-powered. But it works, it's a firewire port. And this is identified as a second generation in Apple software, but it's not a second generation. It's in a Blueberry first generation case. It's got a Blueberry first generation headphone jack in it instead of the second generation audio and video out jack. So it, it's a hybrid. It's a mixture of two. It's an EVT. This is the early, let's test the hardware to see how it works system here. And prototypes tend to have the Maddie Mac sticker and all that stuff in it, which um, it, it proves to you it's a prototype. I mean, stickers can be peeled off. And these stickers could have been peeled off. But uh, having them there gives you more chance that it's real. And I'm not saying people can't reproduce these and pass off a regular one as a prototype. That does happen. Probably, I don't know if it does, but um, if it doesn't have these stickers on it, it's more than likely not a prototype. EVTs are definitely prototypes. PVTs, on the other hand, a PVT is a pre-production release model, okay? It's got all the final production hardware in it, usually. Um, it's kind of like the gold master of a software release. It's going to be the release hardware it's going to be the re released software, you know. Same thing, PVT is pre-production. They run a test on the line, see how everything works. It's going to have all the final parts in it. They'll test it out briefly, and then they'll start the production line. That's what a PVT is. PVT prototypes are hard to prove our prototypes when it comes to the clamshell. Um, on other systems, it's a little different. PVT, they aren't worth a whole lot more um, when it comes to the prototype market because they're, they're basically production ready. Uh, they just have PVT markings on them. Um, and all Mac models that are PVTs are usually prototypes. Clamshells aren't though. And that's where I'm getting at here. These aren't prototypes, people, okay? The way you can tell you have a PVT board is if you remove the um, keyboard, lift up the RAM, right under the RAM, it, there's a lithographed PVT, okay? And that's on a lot of the early second generation production models. Um, for all I can assume is Apple mass produced the PVT boards and um, they just didn't, you know, take the lithograph off for a while. They did eventually take it off. Uh, later model second generations don't have PVT stamped on them anymore. But early models are the same as the later model. 
levels. They're all production levels. They're not prototypes whatsoever. To prove that you'd have a prototype second generation clamshell, you're still not looking at much, honestly. Uh, if you have the stickers on it, that's cool. But like I said, it can probably be fake too. So when it comes to a clamshell, PBT 99.9% .9 of the time is not a prototype. These systems are not prototypes. Do not buy these systems for these prices. They're way out there, okay? The prototype market is whatever anyone will pay for it. There's no set price for any prototype because the prototypes, there's only a few out there. I got my prototype by accident. Um, it was a seller on eBay. They didn't know what they had. They um, didn't take a picture of the bottom, but I noticed something wasn't right because it was a 466 Blueberry and it had a molded firewire port. It could have been a second generation crammed into a case with a hole cut in it for the firewire. People do that. But this had a molded case port in it. I knew something was not right. So I bought it the second I noticed something wasn't right. For 125 bucks, I got lucky, okay? Because uh, when I opened it, it was a prototype, you know. If there's a prototype on eBay, that's probably the way to work come across it, is it's just the seller won't know what they have. And if they're trying to pass it off as a prototype, um, they need proof that it's a prototype. They need pictures of the stickers. They need pictures of anything that proves it's a prototype. And um, sellers usually won't go that far. If they're saying it's a prototype, you need proof it's a true prototype. And with PVT, you can't really prove it honestly, especially, especially the second generation. The first gen, you might get away with it. Um, I can't think of any PVT first gens. So those would be prototypes, but they're still not really worth a whole lot, okay? But yeah, don't buy these systems. Send this video to those sellers selling these prototypes. They're not prototypes, people, okay? Um, and I'm not accusing anyone of trying to scam anyone, okay? Um, but these aren't prototypes. So stop saying that they're prototypes, please, okay? But um, then this comes up with the other problem. Uh, the custom special editions that are on eBay right now. Uh, from this, you'll notice that half the listings are for iBooks that are over a thousand dollars, okay? And they're all from the same seller. And this seller is a self um, proclaimed artist, okay? Artist. Um, and when he has been confronted in the past, he says it's art. He only sells art, okay? And it's technically, I guess, art in his own special kind of way, but it's not worth anything. In fact, he's devalued these systems. This seller we call Mr. Polkadot in the Mac Collector community. Mr. Polkadot buys up all these uh, really good condition clamshells, tears them apart, and then puts them back together in weird Frankenstein's creations, okay? Uh, he'll like mix up a tangerine with a blueberry and um, call it a special edition. And he's implying that Apple released these special editions. There was only two special editions, three special editions in the clamshell, okay? You had the graphite special edition and you had the key lime, uh, which was the Apple online store exclusive. Those are special editions. That was it. There weren't any other clamshell special editions that I know of. And I'm not saying he's implying, he's not saying that Apple released these. He's just calling them special editions, which implies that Apple did. He, they're his special editions, okay, to tell you the truth. And he does other things. He'll take the EMI shielding out, make stick polka dots on the inside of the case. That's why we call him Mr. Polka Dot. And he'll do other weird, crazy things, like hand paint them. They actually don't look bad. Very artistic. Still not worth anything, you know. I mean, it's the most art he does is hand painting them. I, you know, 
But still, that's not worth what he's asking for them. And he'll reprint instructions, he'll reproduce the boxes, so you have the original box and all this stuff. It's all scam, okay? And the biggest thing he does is he upgrades the SSDs. Okay, he goes to SSD by cutting the hard drive out. He'll cut the top case out and make a door in the top case. He'll cut the um, shielding out for the hard drive, pull the hard drive out, and then put an SSD adapter in there and leave a big gaping hole there. I think his excuse is so you can hot swap drives or swap them really easily. It's destroying cases. He's destroying these iBooks. And I just beg of him to stop it. But don't be buying these systems thinking that it's some rare special edition Apple thing. Because you're going to get scammed. These systems are not worth that. So let's recap. PVT, iBook, second generation, Firewire models are not prototypes 99.9% .9 of the time. They're really hard to prove that they ever were. Okay? In fact, who knows, the real prototypes may not even exist anymore. Um, so, they're not prototypes. Any PVT board is not a prototype. I'll just go out on a limb and say that. Okay? And don't buy anything from Mr. Polkadot. He's, he's destroying these systems, and <laughs> $1,000 for an iBook G3, the, this guy is literally passing them off, saying that you could use these as a modern-day system. You can't. It's an iBook G3 clamshell. You know, even at the top end of 466 megahertz, you're just barely put, putting along on the internet. Um, you could browse it. They're great for collectors. Collectors love playing with them. I love playing with my clamshells, but I don't use mine daily. <laughs> because they can't be used daily anymore. Um, so don't fall for him. Don't fall for these prototypes. Go for the true sellers that are just selling what they have. And keep your eye out. You might find a prototype out in the wild like I did. I just stumbled across it. I was looking for a clamshell, uh, a graphite actually, um, when I bought that like a year and a half ago. And I just stumbled across it. I'm like, it's a blueberry. It says 466 on it. And then I look at the pictures and it's got a firewire port. And the second I saw that, I clicked buy it now. I didn't even hesitate. Because the second I saw that, I'm like, there's something special about this. And I just clicked it. And I was lucky. You might come across being lucky that way too. But um, unless the seller who's selling a prototype has proof it's a prototype, don't buy it, okay? Unless there's proof and verifiable proof and you contact someone like me or Hap from A Little Bite Different, actually, if you contact Hap from A Little Bite Different.com, I'm sure he wouldn't hesitate to help you understand if it's a true prototype or not. If you're in the market for an iBook G3 clamshell though, just a normal one, Remember, the price range, $50 to $300, maybe a little bit more if it's complete with box and stuff. And the best meat and bones, best deal is probably about $125 to $200. If you do that, you've got yourself a great system. And um, especially if it comes to the power, um, the yo-yo uh, power supply and all that stuff, you know, the more complete, the better, you know, you got yourself a good deal. But yeah, just so you know, prototypes on, uh, as of November 2021 on eBay, none of those are prototypes. They just say they are. Um, and like I said, I'm not blaming them. I'm not accusing them of, you know, other than Mr. Polkadot, because he sells them too. Um, I'm not saying that uh, they know that they're not prototypes. Because they could have just opened it up, saw PVT written there when they were putting RAM in it or something, and looked it up online. If you type in PVT Apple Mac, it's going to come up saying it's a prototype. When it comes to a clamshell, though, it's not. It never is 99.9% .9 of the time. So don't fall for it. These aren't prototypes. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I have a Patreon 
uh, now. So if you'd like to help support me, there will be a link at the end of the video and also in the description below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And this has been a Wrecking Mods video.